None of us make it through this life without problems and challenges. All of us will face trials, sometimes even tragedies. But we're told Adam failed that men might be and men are that they might have joy. So how can we find joy despite all we may face? Dr. Kelly Ogden recently wrote a book called Happy Like Jesus in which he gives some examples. Good morning, Dr. Ogden. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I love that scripture because it says might have joy. We're not guaranteed happiness, are we? Men are that they might have joy. Then as my wife always says, then again, they might not. <laughs> <laughs> so That's true. for sure, uh, uh, happiness is the object of our existence. Absolutely. Why the title Happy Like Jesus? Some time ago, uh, Elder Scott placed his hands on my head and sent me apart to a certain church position. And in the blessing, he said, you've had unique experiences in the Holy Land with the Savior's life. Now teach about him, write about him. So I gathered together some of the best scriptures and stories and experiences to illustrate um, Jesus' life. The basic concept is, I am, so you be. He is happy, so he wants us to be happy. So how do we know Jesus is a happy person? Well, let me quote to you uh, one of my favorite, all-time favorite statements from President Heber C. Kimball. He said, <laughs> I am perfectly satisfied that my Father and my God is a cheerful, pleasant, lively, and good-natured being. Why? Because I am cheerful, pleasant, lively, and good-natured when I have His Spirit. He is a jovial, lively person. So God has said He is a happy person. He wants us to be happy too. And um, did Jesus ever smile? Well, Third Nephi actually says He smiled. Some time ago, uh, Liz Lemon Swindle, a good artist friend, invited me to her home to see a recent painting she did, a large painting of uh, Jesus and his best friends, the apostles coming up over a hill from the Sea of Galilee. And I instantly liked the painting because it shows them all with smiles on their faces. For sure, there were hard moments, especially the last week of Jesus' life, but there were many happy moments in his life. And this cover of the book that Deseret Book just published, they chose one of Mark Mabry's excellent photos showing Jesus and John in the water with smiles on their faces. Very happy. Yeah, very I happy. love that. Yes. I was going to say, when you talked about the, the pictures uh, of Jesus smiling, so many of them for years have been Jesus very somber and reverent, but now we, we see him smiling, and you like that. Yes, of course. As we sing, when Jesus shows his smiling face, face there's sunshine in the soul. <laughs> yeah, so um, happiness should be in your face. Huh? It yes. should be visible. Um, happiness uh, is a decision. We decide to be happy no matter what comes. That's a great point. So give us some examples of how we can find happiness, how we find that through your book. Well, one way is we can get outside of ourselves. We need, uh, happiness comes through other people. Serving others, right. Serving others. My, my wife served uh, years ago, a long time ago in, in uh, Spain. I served in Argentina about 200 years ago. <laughs> and then uh, we served together in Chile. We served together in Guatemala. Uh, we loved being with the missionaries. Uh, that's a wonderful service. In fact, we're not happy if we're not serving. It doesn't matter what position, title, those things don't matter. Just doing something to bless the lives of other people. Something happened to me last year. I've had many great years in my life. But last year, 2010, was the best year in my life. It started out with President Uchtdorf having conferred the sealing power on me. And then I went about for months, uh, the first part of that year, performing those sealing ordinances of sacred things in the temple. In the middle of that year, my heart turned to my father's in a dramatic way. Um, Elijah called, and as we say, he got a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I started researching, you know, laying out the names on the chart mm -hmm. and studying their lives and getting from church archives and BYU special collections and all stories about them, their personal journals, and studying a lot. And uh, I noticed that quite a few of my ancestors were buried right here in Utah in certain cemeteries. So 
between the end of August and the beginning of November, I went to 16 different cemeteries because I wanted, I felt like I wanted to photograph their gravestones. When I went to the uh, first ones in Richmond and Smithfield, I, I, I don't have any tangible items from them, but I saw their names there. And on those cool, uh, crisp summer mornings, I was there alone and they were saying to me, I was here, please remember me. Wow, what a great experience. So I, I, I wrote in my journal, I felt pure joy. And that joy from family history, and you also talk about happiness through scriptures and going to the temple. Dr. Yeah. Ogden, thank you so much for stopping by. Your book again is so great, called Happy Like Jesus. Thanks so much for sharing with You're us today. Very Appreciate it. Coming up next, what do Sun, Surf, and Seminary have in common? There's a story coming up next about all three. Meet a champion surfer who learned early on to put the Lord first. But now it's time to showcase some of our missionaries serving around the world. If you'd like to share a picture of a missionary you know, please send it to mormontimes at ksl.com.